Hi, this is David Borla, and I'm at Borla's R&D facility in Oxnard, California. I'm here to give you a sneak peek at a new exhaust technology breakthrough we're really excited about. It's called ATTAC, and it stands for Acoustically Tuned Applied Kinetics. The concept of ATTAC is simple, and it starts with Borla's patented multi-core technology. The multi-core design is what made Borla the world's most winning muffler. Exhaust gases are routed straight through the muffler through a group of inner cores. Sound waves are attenuated as they travel between the cores and surrounding composite filament. Borla's multi-core technology is so efficient, it's been proven to outflow a straight piece of pipe. Which is why some racers actually run with Borla, even when the race rules don't require mufflers at all. Okay, back to attack. Now remember, attack is based on the multi-core technology you just saw. But in a Borla attack muffler, the perforation patterns on the cores vary. Some are half perforated, some are completely solid, some have holes arranged in very specific patterns, such as a spiral pattern. These variations, along with differences in the size of the cores, the length of the cores, and the number of cores, all affect the sound of the muffler, while still providing 100% of that multi-core power. Our engineers here at Borla use proprietary computer-controlled methods to blend the optimum mix of core types to produce the best sound. But, and this is really important, we do it on a vehicle-by-vehicle -vehicle basis. Attack mufflers are tuned and optimized to take the best advantage of each vehicle's unique acoustical properties. We all know that the exhaust note starts with the engine, but there are other elements within a vehicle that affect the exhaust note dramatically, like the distance from the exhaust manifold to the bumper, the shape of the undercarriage, the shape of the cabin, and we took all these things into account when we developed our attack mufflers, and the results are gonna blow you away. Now the Borla attack system is very aggressive, but we have such precise control over the frequencies that we're able to shape the sound to give it a real distinct and unique muscle car growl. In order to show you the difference in sound, we're going to install three different Borla systems, S-Type, Attack, and Touring on this 2010 Camaro. And we're going to do some test runs. We're going to begin with a comparison of startup and launch, and this is the Touring system. Now let's hear Borla's S-Type exhaust. <laughs> and finally, we have Borla's Attack exhaust. Quite a big difference, huh? All right, now let's compare some drive-bys and in-cabin sounds as well. I'm driving now with our touring exhaust. This is our most subtle version. It's not much louder than stock at cruise. So when you're cruising, you want to talk on the phone, you want to have a conversation. It's really not that much louder, but the note's a little bit different. When you get on the throttle, however, is where you really start to hear it. You can sort of give it to you when you really want it. This is our sleeper exhaust. Now we're driving the Borla S-Type exhaust. A little bit more sound, a little bit more excitement. When you get on it, you can really hear it. Real throaty sound to it. As we shift through the gears, you can hear how it gives you a real aggressive note all the way through the RPM range. Real exciting. Makes the car come alive. 
Let's go for a ride with Borla's attack exhaust. All of the acoustical properties of this vehicle have been taken into consideration, including the configuration of the engine bay, the shape of the cabin, the frequency generated by the engine at all RPM ranges. After 30 years of building exhaust systems for Camaros, we have a pretty good idea of what we're doing. We use our computer modeling software to find the right combination of core lengths and sizes and perforations to give it the exact sound we want. more about Attack and other Borla exhaust technologies at www.borla.com. I'm David Borla and thanks for watching this update from the world's most winning exhaust.